Hello, this is Stuart Fenster, I'm a couples expert. One of the things that people ask me a lot is how do you define love? And you say connection is everything. I don't see how it translates. How does it translate to real life? So that's what this video is going to be about. I'm reluctantly doing something that I don't do a lot of. I do a little bit of it, but I always am careful about it, which is use my relationship as a, a model for all of you, because everyone's relationship is so very different. So what I'm about to do, I do a little bit reluctantly, but one of the things that I talk a lot about is being authentic. And being authentic means not pretending that I'm not married, not pretending that I haven't been married before. I have been married before my current wife, and I always sort of worry a little bit that people are going to say, why should I see you as a couples counselor if you couldn't save your marriage? But one of the things that I have talked about is that what I believe without any question is that if I had found emotionally focused therapy, if I had found attachment theory, my last marriage may not have ended in divorce. And that's really sad because it impacted so many people. It impacted my parents, her parents, her siblings, my siblings, my children, her children, our children. But my message today is the following. I am preparing at 62 years old to run a half marathon. And in order to do that, I have a schedule that I have to follow. Now bear with me, I'll show you how this relates. Today was the first time that I was running four miles. For those of you who are runners, you understand what an accomplishment that is. But the other thing you understand is that running four miles takes a toll on your body. And at 62 years old, I'm a bit overweight, not in great shape. I've, I've had injuries to my knees. I actually have a torn meniscus. And running four miles is an incredible feat. But as I was running those four miles, my body began to play tricks on me. My thighs at about two miles began to ache. My side was telling me to stop. My brain was telling me, are you stupid? What are you doing here? You don't have to at 62 prove anything to anybody. But the answer is, yes, I did. Do you know who I had to prove it to? I had to prove it to me. Could I run four miles? And four miles is just the beginning. Next week, I'm supposed to run five, and then six, and then seven, up to 13 miles, because my goal is to run the Rock and Roll Marathon in January of 2018, and that's an announcement I'm making today. But the message today to this video is the following. As I was about three miles, I said, what are you doing? Just stop. You have nothing to prove. But then again, I said, yes, I did. And I'm wearing, as you could see, a Bluetooth headset because the iPhone now doesn't have a plug-in, as some of you know. You have to have these Bluetooth things in your ears. And a song came on the radio uh, on my playlist. And the song was, um, You're Beautiful in My Eyes. I don't know how many of you know that song but I'm gonna attach it to this video because I want all of you to listen to it. Because there are lines in that song that says, you are so beautiful to me, you're everything that I hoped for, you're everything that I need. And that's what my wife is. So as my body is breaking down, a jab, a jolt of adrenaline came into my being because I don't want to let her down. And letting her down is worse than letting me down. And as you could see, I'm drenched and sweat is coming off of me because it is 95 degrees right now here in Arizona. The humidity is about 80%. We're getting monsoons. And running required me to leave my home at 5 a.m. this morning but I'm doing it 
because I won't let her down, because the love she has for me gives me the strength that I need. And not only did it counter my brain, but it countered my body. Can you imagine that? Having a love like that, where your body doesn't control you because your heart and the love you have for your partner has you knowing that you're better than you know because she wouldn't love someone that's not special. And at 62 years old, I'm special in her eyes. Listen to this song, pay attention to the lyrics, and know that your love can carry you through anything. Take care and stay connected. Bye now.